course a bunch of rust just fell out of there, but um, I'll be goddamned. Hey John here again. So if you've got one of these uh, residential yard vacuum deals where you know you tow along behind a tractor and it uh, craps out on you like a dead mine, uh, the engine or the impeller or whatever you got going on, uh, I might have some ideas on uh, how to get this thing back up and running for uh, for me it was a little over 300 bucks, but definitely for under 500 bucks we replaced an engine and did some mods and got this thing rolling again. If you're trying to save this, well, I'm trying to save this. I got this piece. Shoo-hoo! Right? All right, so let's see if we can hook this thing back up. So I got uh, a Predator engine there at the 6.5 uh, engine, which is uh, $150, and a new impeller, which is $177. Go figure. The impeller's more. Uh, but the impeller has uh, some things that I didn't have on the other one. Oh, boy. This, uh, what are we at here? This is a, a sharp blade on the inside. This goes up against the engine, you know, up against the engine and these blades. I think they're for a, uh, this must be a universal deal built for different different uh, applications. Mine's a vacuum, and I'm gonna be using this part of the, uh, the turbine, but if this fits in there and it doesn't, uh, you know, uh, scrape on the, on the back wall over there of the housing, I'll leave them suckers on there. I think it's for feeding branches and um, I don't have that. I don't have that option. Anyways, it's already starting to rust. <laughs> it's brand new. Bag full parts. I think we're screwed right off the bat. That shaft is different. I measured. Uh, I had a pair of plastic calipers just to see if it was, and it said, uh, I thought it was three quarters while well, this battery's dying. It says 0.87, and of course that one's a three quarters. Point, uh, let's see. 0 0.77. 0 0.87 and 0 0.77. What the hell is going on there? So, well, this thing is, uh, tapered and if that's three quarters inside there we're good if it's not <laughs> we're screwed because uh, I don't know what we're gonna do it's it's obviously uh, this is tapered too if I remember right um, it wasn't all the way in so that's an inch that's the inch right there son of a gun and I'm assuming three quarters shit oh boy and I couldn't find that Briggs and Strat in the same engine. Could not find it anywhere. I mean, it's got a family name and a serial number and everything. I just couldn't get. So I thought I was in business with uh, this little lineup with the bolt holes with the machine, but that shaft ain't gonna cut it. <sighs> All right, Houston, we got so many problems here. Uh, so, so that's a three-quarter inch uh, shaft, and I think we can address that. There's so many things to address here. So. The shaft is not only three quarters, it's also shorter. <laughs> um, in other words, this shaft here is, I think, two and five eighths coming out of here, and that one's two and a quarter. So we're going to have to make up a half inch, and we're going to have to. So this is an inch down here. Uh, you can see that, but it's tapered to. Um, so it's an inch here, and it's seven eighths up here, and this is just a tapered deal, you know, how they tooled it. And this is uh, upside down. This is, oh, my glasses. This is uh, an inch on the bottom here, and you probably can't see in there. And then it's seven eighths in there, right? So that fits on that directly. Can't find this engine, can't find this, you know, I looked high and low. Uh, so I'm going to make. We're, we're going to make this work. I'm going to use that cheap ass $150 motor if <laughs> it's the last thing I do. Um, so we got to, like I said, our work cut out. Not only that, see how this is, uh, this is flat against the block. And you see how this muffler <laughs> and a little bit of the gas tank is sticking out. So we're going to have to address that too. Um, because as you can see here, everything is, you know, Nothing's in a way, 
and off the block they have spacers or not spacers but it's, it's part of the block you know they come up so we're gonna have to address all that and uh, it's doable I think so the first thing is um, I'm not going to be able to tool it myself so I, I fortunately they make a sleeve so I've I've got one sleeve coming from three quarter this ain't three quarter inch over there the shaft three quarter inch I've got three quarter inch to seven eighths right and then that's three inches long we'll have to cut that we'll have to measure everything and get everything and I've also got a three quarter inch to seven eighths coming so we can make this shaft onto the other shaft all right so we're going to get close with this shaft as far as the length goes so you see these uh you know part of the aluminum casting these risers right I thought maybe I'd have to add some risers on the other one but when I measured you know that's what that uh, tick mark is and this is with the um, with the shield on uh, so we're um, about an eighth inch off which we can make up with those sleeves that are coming um, so that that's the way it was bolted on originally and then the, the uh, housing goes over this and if you put this over here where you know it has no riser it's just flat to the block you know what I mean so when you when we put that on it's going to be like I said within an eighth inch uh, of shaft stick out so once we add our sleeves you know we'll have to do it an exact measurement to get it to wherever but I think we're going to be good there okay we are going to have to modify the muffler it's touching there but you can see down there it's not I, you know it's just uh, I got it finger tight it won't snug up it's too close so uh, we'll have to modify the muffler but I think uh, once that is uh, tightened up it's going to clear the gas tank it's going to line up with you know the hole so I think we're good and in fact maybe that muffler um, I can do something with that uh, you see it comes off at an angle there but uh, if we get rid of the muffler come straight up with a pipe or whatever we're going to do actually might even be able to use uh, if that's the same if that's the same might even be able to use that wow this thing is bent it's brand new I mean if I could see it with the naked eye right she was I mean uh, Agra whatever the company that made this I don't know if it's going to make a difference but this is a level right I got a clamp tool in my hand there look at that it's just crazy. Uh, so we're waiting while we're waiting on the uh, shaft uh, collars to come in. See how this is all raised up and beat up. And there's some holes. There's a couple of holes in this. Uh, where are they? There's a big hole here. Uh, so I think I'm going to beat on this a little bit. Try to get it back down. As you can see, there's a couple of poke throughs. Try to get the. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty beat up in there. It's only the outside though. Uh, and then maybe add a piece of stainless nice. Uh, I got some nice uh, uh, Good gauge stainless maybe I'll add a strip but I had to help it not wear but this thing is pretty old And it's got beat up. So let me work on that. I guess while I'm waiting strip it up paint it up that kind of thing All right, so I banged this out as best I could uh, it's it's fairly flat now uh, both inside and outside uh, the holes I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, fill in with weld just because we're gonna do and if you ever work with stainless this stuff's hard as nails I mean it's gonna be a wear bar right we'll just bend it in place uh, so we'll just let's, I got some holes drilled here right pop rivet it and just bend it around pop rivet it but I you know at the inside too we'll, we'll force this uh, we'll bend this you know Corresponding. We'll, we'll have to start on the outside, drill the hole, get the corresponding. Uh, you know, stuff's hard. So that'll be a wear bar, and I won't have to fill the welds. Let me, uh, let me put that together. See what it looks like. All right. So I just ended up uh, doing more rivets. I did uh, aluminum rivets. You know, uh, uh, to match the holes in the uh, machine. And then on the other side, I just. Uh, you're probably not gonna see that lights bad uh, peened them over with a ball peen and that'll do it screw welding it uh, they come out fine this ain't gonna go nowhere um, so that's that 
So let's get it painted up and uh, prime them up. I'm going to paint the inside black and the outside red. Uh, so we just got these sleeves in. This is the uh, one inch diameter and this is the uh, seven eighths, right? But we're gonna have to cut them up because, uh, you know, wherever that comes to be, I'll have to measure the other, the other, uh, the other machine there. See where, see where it tapers, and then we'll we'll have to cut it, add this, and uh, somehow taper this down like the other one. Let me go over and show you. I want to get as close as this to possible. So this is the one inch deal under here. I don't know. That's an inch and a little over an inch. That it comes out, then it tapers down to the uh, seven eight steel here, right? So we're gonna try to. I just marked it uh, right here. Gonna try to. Well, I'll cut it here, and then try to taper it like they have theirs. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. Um, I don't know what I got. I got, you know, a flap wheel, but that's gonna be hard to do, you know, evenly like this. Uh, we'll figure it out. I'll do something, and then. Uh, We'll just need this little piece here, right? And then uh, maybe we'll weld them on. I don't know. Get there. Yeah, so here's what we got. Um, so I cut the, the big piece off. Uh, this is where the taper starts, this line. So I do have to taper it. And this uh, little tick mark there is the same exact length as the old crank from here to there, right? So now the trick is, you know, I think I'm going to tack, tack weld it, right? And then, because uh, I, I put the muffler back on it, I want to start this up to make sure this thing doesn't have a wobble in it. I just ran it and it's perfectly straight right now, but I want to tack it and then, uh, you know, start it up again and see if it's still perfectly, you know, I don't, I don't, there's absolutely no way uh, we can have a wobble in this. Right, so I got attacked in three spots around the uh, circumference there. See if this thing, uh, see if it's straight. Looks straight to me. Got to weld it up. I think uh, I'm going to leave it on there and. Start it and grind it like that, like a like it's a lathe. <laughs> See what happens. Well, that's looking pretty good there. So we got the same amount of uh, inch stock. And then taper down to the uh, seven eighths. Ooh, that's still a little warm. Uh, and I think I'm gonna um, let me crank this over a little bit. I think I'm gonna weld right in here. Just weld this, uh, you know, right to the uh, shaft. But I gotta let it cool. I don't want to burn that, uh, you know, burn up that bearing or the, you know, because it's just plastic in there. So I gotta just. Uh, what I'm going to do, same thing with how I welded this, just spot, you know, uh, go really hot with a welder, give it a spot, let things cool, give it a spot, let things cool, because again, I don't want to wear this or, you know, get this too hot to crank. I mean, a crank gets hot, but yeah, see, that's a little too hot right now, just from grinding. So we'll let that cool, and then uh, then we got to find our mark again to cut it, and once we cut it, It'll be uh, looking just like the other one. All right, so that came out pretty good. Uh, what I ended up doing is, uh, after everything was done, I took a piece of emery cloth, you know, while the engine was running. You know, it's, it's basically a lathe here. And I uh, just sanded it down like this and got in here a little bit. Sanded down smooth, and now uh, just this little, on the edge there, up to, got a little rough. Uh, I took the wheel, too. When, when the thing was running, that's how I cut it off. I just, uh, you know, why the shaft was rotating so I could get a nice clean cut otherwise I guess maybe a pipe cutter would do it because it would be hard to without this moving to cut this straight I need this straight because I think uh, this needs to be exactly the same length but I see there's a little a uh, little bit of roughness there so I'll sand that off 
and the bolt, you know, originally the shaft is shorter, but so we just made it longer. And a bolt will go in there. I, have to, I think it's 5 16 24 cut. Um, but we're almost done here. And I still am going to, uh, I'm going to weld this right to it. I was going to use a key, but then I would have to, uh, this is the wrong one. Uh, I don't know where it went. Yeah, where it went. I was going to use a key, right? But then we'd have to uh, grind that down. It's a pretty good grind. And I don't want to mess up, mess up my new stuff here. Um, and this is pretty much on there. It's, it's not really coming off. I did get it off once, but so I am going to just weld in there, weld it to, uh, like a keyway, two spot welds. One, uh, actually I probably should do, yeah, I'll do one in here deep and one out here and maybe one in the middle. I don't know. Uh, so on second thought, I found a, a smaller piece of keyway that, uh, just nicked just the size of the, uh, one inch portion. So it's nice and smooth there. And, uh. And I'm not going to worry about down here because once this, uh, you know, once that fella goes on, it's going to get pressed into here and pressed in. So it's got no, you know, it'd be trapped in there. It's got no place to go just in case I need to get this off again. Uh, it's pretty much on there. I can't pull it off right now. Uh, maybe it's just because of heat, but uh, if I need to get it off, it could, I guess. But I don't need to. <laughs> um, so let me go get, I got I to get a bolt here. I don't have a 5 16 24 and uh, I don't know how, what size I need, but we'll grab a two inch bolt, we'll do it. I don't know how far that goes in, but and then we'll stick this on and see what it looks like. All right, so let's try putting this thing together. So I got that spacer in there and uh, bolted that up, and it's just the, the three bolts on the inside. And now we're going to put this uh, fella on there. And I, I got a three inch, uh, three inch bolt, and we'll go ahead and cinch it down. Well, I don't know, it's pretty close tolerance wise. As far as putting them knives on, but um, you know, and this is just a 5 16th bolt, th th you know, fine thread. So I just use an eighth inch, uh, you know, I, I don't know how far to torque it down, but uh, I'm gonna try to start this thing now and see if this thing really wreaks havoc or what, you know, because it might wobble. <laughs> so watch your eyes. wobble to it. Uh, it is unbalanced for sure, but it seems to be all right. When it starts, it runs. I, I'm running this without a muffler, so I don't want to cook my paint there. All right, so I think we got the operation part down, uh, but before I close this in and, and do everything, I want to make a muffler. So I think this uh, old muffler is going to work out a little better. I'm going to take this collar off, just grind it off. Uh, this one is not going to work out just because it's, you know, the way it sticks out. So my initial thought is uh, just having this like this, facing forward. That was the way the old old one was, but obviously this is at a 45. Can't do that. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna clip this. Like I said, I'm gonna get this collar off. I'm gonna clip this pipe at. I believe it's a 45. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, we'll get the right right angle. At, clipped it at a 45 and weld the new plate on there. And it'll just sit there like that, right? All right, so we got uh, everything nicked off with just a you know typical wheel. Now, uh, now I'm going to put the grinding wheel on there, flap disc, and round all that stuff off. Yeah. So after thinking about it, I lopped off uh, this piece of the uh, the new muffler because let's face it, this engine ain't going back. <laughs> it's got too many mods on it. Uh, so I'm going to use this and the old pipe. And just uh, I'll put this on the, the block, figure out where it needs to be. Well, that's what I call good enough. And I'll throw some paint on it, and uh, and we can mount, mount the thing to uh, like a 45, so it misses everything. Let's hope I welded it right. <laughs> All right, so we got the pipe welded up, and uh, it's on. I painted up with that high heat stuff. It does clear. It's a little bit close. Uh, I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of uh, heat shield. The original one. Uh, where is it? The original one is not gonna obviously 
fit on there. Uh, but we might be able to uh, do something. Like, you see it's off here. It's not going to fit. Uh, but we, I'll think of something. I'll think of something to get something in there. Uh, so uh, I ended up, this is the muffler uh, guard. It's made out of uh, stainless, which is pretty thick stainless. I ain't going to go anywhere. It was actually hard to bend this. I bent it around a pipe about that size. Put this in a vise, bent it that way. Now I'm going to blow some holes in here. And I'm probably just going to mount it right to this thing. Right. Something like that. Because we still need to get to this. And I want this to, uh, this is going to make a pretty good heat shield. So it won't melt anything. Alright, so I think we're done toying with this. We've got the engine on. Got a little heat shield going. Uh, so we don't burn nothing up. Let's put this thing together. Ah, so the time has arrived. We're going to test this thing out. So I pulled it outside because um, I'm a little bit iffy on that, uh, that you know, that wheel, the, the impeller there, because it's so bent, uh, balance, out of balance. Uh, but I got everything put together because uh, we ran it at low speed without the shrouds on and stuff. Uh, but I want to take it out here and get it at a high speed level and then uh, just, you know, let it run for a bit, see what kind of suction it's got, and then I'll hook up the tractor and then. Uh, Try to do some leaves here. Alright, I don't have much time on this card or the battery, so uh, I've got the old 97 Scotch hooked up to it. Let's, uh, let's, let's shoot this thing up. So I don't have a lot of leaves yet, but uh, just a little bit here. I got a little windy. The leaves are still on the trees, but up there in the front driveway, they got, uh, it was pretty windy the other day, so I think some stuff was stuck up up there. So we did the front piece up there in a driveway, and uh, I don't know, it looks pretty cut up. I mean, uh, can't really tell from the old one to the new one, but this is a... Uh... Alright, so we're back in action, and uh, this particular machine, uh, I think, cost me $800 when I bought it, and today they're right around two grand for the same, you know, equivalent model, and at that point, do you want to spend two grand or take your chances on trying to fix your, you know, old machine, depending on what it was. In my case, it was an engine and an impeller. Uh, like I said, a little over 300 bucks, but I think it's well worth it. If, uh, you know, this thing lasts another 20 years and well, well ahead of the program. But anyways, uh, just a few ideas thrown out there and a few mods we had to make, uh, relatively easy. Uh, I say easy. If you got the tools and the ways and means, it's relatively easy to do. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.